Hello everybody. Today we are going to be making some beautiful ombre candles. So today we are going to be making a candlestick, so to speak. So I thought, look, let's take you along and I'm sure you're going to love it. So there are lots of DIY kits around and I'm going to be using um, the kit that they've got. But in this kit, they have actually provided some soy wax. And I just know myself, uh, you know, from all my testing over the years, soy wax is not going to hold up very well in these kind of pillar type candles. So I'm going to use one that is a cocoa soy. It's much stronger. And um, this one is called A05. I use it for melts. I use it for container. It's a great all-rounder wax. But honestly, if you want the best one for these sort of candles, usually it is paraffin, but I actually don't use paraffins. So I can't put that in my range because it's not what I usually use. So I'm going to show you how to make them. These are really easy. I mean, some of these kits and the kits that I've got is uh, one that sort of shows you how to make these. And in this kit, it's come up with a couple of things. So I'll show you. So inside here, if you can see this little color, um, it's given some colored wax. So it gives me a purple one, a gorgeous pink one, and um, a teal blue and then a really nice yellow and of course the wax is a whitish kind of color so i'm going to use that as my base now in this kit as well it is given some little popsicle sticks with a hole so they're kind of handy and some little tiny mixing ones so um, and some string as well so there's two ways that we can do this so let me get everything ready i'm going to show you exactly how i'm going to do this and it is really not that hard you may get a little addicted to doing this because it is super duper fun and at the moment candlesticks that are colored and fun are really all on the market I see them everywhere on Instagram so let's get making so now to make this I do have this um particular mold so this mold here I did get from pure candle supplies some time ago and it has the beautiful ribbing so if you want one that's a little different um, go over to there and um, you can get one like this super easy and I'll take this out so I'll show you so this is basically a, a standard wick for pillar candles you can actually get the cord as well and I'm going to show you how I do the cord so if you get one like this I've literally just cut the tab off the end because I don't really want that and all we're going to do is literally slide it in here and this end this is going to be the top of it so we want to slide it in the hole so usually it'll be easier if we go this way and we're just going to poke it in just so I can see. So if you can see that and then just pull it to the other end um, and you can see that it's got a kink in it because what I did, um, which I always do, is I just get that and then fold it over. So if you can see that, because then when I put it on its bottom like that, because we're gonna pour in the top of this because this is where you pour all the wax, um, that way we're just gonna do that and we're gonna clip off all of the wicks later. Now, the problem with these is what happens, even if you put something in here, there's a tiny gap. So the wax is going to go through. So usually I say put some blue tack or a piece of sticky tape or something over the top. And it doesn't matter about this wick because we're going to trim that anyway. So that is for that one. Now, the, the other kit that I did get, which I actually did get from Kmart, um, came with this particular one, which is just a, you know, standard small one. So if you can see in here, it took me some effort, I can tell you, to get this string in here. It came with this string, so we're going to just try this out. There's a really tiny one. And at the end of it here, if you can see, you just basically pull the string through and this is going to be the top. So when you, um, you know, actually make this, it's going to stand just like this. So this one is a little more wobbly. It's definitely not as secure as the better quality one but it's okay for now. I'll just be super careful. So what we've got is the string at this end and then we're just going to, you know, cut that off. You could leave it. I'm probably going to leave it. Just put a bit of blue tack here and then we'll cut it later so that I don't waste any. And at this end here, we're going to just keep this. So we're going to pull it through um, a tiny bit. Now, of course, we want this to sit in the middle and I will move the camera in a minute to show you, but I've got it close so I can show you. So now that we've got this, Basically, we're going to have, you know, this particular um, little popsicle stick with a hole and we're going to try and wiggle this piece of string through and it's hard because I'm a nail biter. 
um, but anyway, and so then all I'm going to do is literally sit it on the top here and center it, and you know, and then you're going to pull this a little bit tighter. So you can put a piece of sticky tape on the top so that string doesn't come out if you're worried about making a mistake. And that's literally as easy as it's going to be. And as I said, we're going to have this one here and this one here. So we're going to work on the two. So I think for this one here, we might start and do an ombre one with this one. And this one, I'm going to just pour straight you know white wax in here and then i'm going to show you how we're going to dip this one um we can actually you know like i said dip it and make it different colors which is super duper cool isn't it um and we'll move this one out the side so to make the colors we want to do something like this and all this is is the middle of it is white and then they've just dipped it in different colors and you can dip this as many times as you want but in the ombre look, just to make it look a bit cool, what I'm going to do is literally just colour the wax in different colours and this, then just very gently go from white to pink to purple and um, just bring it into a beautiful ombre sort of colour. So that's what you can do with this one. I'm going to use the dyes that they've got, but I also do have some dyes that I do use that are powders and they're really good. They come from the UK, but... This has come with these, so we're going to use these just um, to make sure. Now, if you're using soy or coconut soy, the one, like this one here, and this is what it came with, um, they will only be a pastel colour. They're not going to be bright because soy makes things more pastel. And here is another candle that I've made in the past. So that is red, and obviously the red's just pink. Um, it's not going to be super bright. But if you use a paraffin, which is more of a translucent kind of look, then that is going to be bright and bold and colourful. So it's up to you whatever you want to use. But like I said, for today, we're going to use coconut soy um, A05. That's what I'm going to use in these ones. So I've warmed the heater up. So when everything is um, working and all of my melted waxes are together, then I'm going to bring you back and show you how we're going to do this. So let's get going. All right, everyone, it has melted down. And now you can see here, I put everything here, some blue tack at the bottom. So let's just pray and hope it works. Inside here, um, if I can show you, I don't know whether you can see, but anyway, we are just mixing the colors. So this bit here is going to be pink. So you just need to mix it and you need to be really patient because it's going to take time um, to melt it. And these are just like, if you can see that, it's like a little tiny drop. Um, and that is pink. If you want to add more, you can. I do usually use um, some different ones, but I'm going to use the one that came with the kit just to, you know, just so that I've used the right one. If you mix it and you think this is really light, you can add more. And this is very light, so I might actually add a tiny bit more um, of what this one came with. So this is the pinky kind of one, even though it looks purple, it is pink. So we're just going to add a bit more because um, soy is going to make it much lighter. Now, if you use powders and things like that, which I usually use, um, they are going to, of course, be much, much darker. And then this is the blue, which is really, really very light. Um, and, you know, look, this is only a cheap kit that I've got. Like, it was from Kmart. It was $6 for a kit i mean i couldn't even make one for that so um i couldn't even buy these products for six dollars so i don't know how they're doing it but anyway like i said i just thought it would be a great youtube one to show everyone how we actually do this and i don't know whether you can kind of see you probably can't but you know if you're wondering about the color just get like a piece of paper like this and just drop a little bit on and then you'll see it's that pinky kind of color um, and then that's what we're going to do. So the whole idea of this, we're going to just tip a tiny bit um, into this one here. The other one I was thinking maybe we should do it white, but what do you think? Maybe maybe we will actually do this one a colour. I don't know. But this one, I was actually thinking of doing it white. Now, the reason I was going to do this one white um, is really just so that I can show you how to dip it which is so easy and you can use these same ones and you can use that and dip it so how about we'll do that one white um, and we will dip it now I know lots of people are going to ask me about wicks now you can get a lot of strings like this which are fine because these are very very fine ones and you know look wicks in these are just like container candles that are really annoying because you have to just keep 
testing and testing and you, you know the drill you know you, that's all you can do but basically um, if you look at here and the circumference this might be three centimeters and then the wick you might use will say also three now this wick that I've got in here is not the right one but it doesn't matter because this is only for today's demo um, but if you go to lots and lots of you know suppliers they will actually have you know a grade of what they suggest and then it might be one or two sizes up or down so it's just a test my friends isn't it so let me just get a little bit of clear and we're just going to pour it into this main one Now I do have a um, melt machine which I use which is from 2 Auto. If you want to grab one of those just go on eBay they're really cheap. Um, that's what I suggest. Now if we're talking about pouring temperature really about 60 um, degrees is what you want it at. This one is not going to matter. And now pour a small amount because we want to see if it comes out of here. So if this is not holding it um, don't pour any more. So and if you have it super hot, the blue tack is not going to hold. And we all know that this has got blue tack in it. So um, at the bottom, because otherwise it would leak. So now I'm just going to fill it up because, you know, we want it filled to the top. So there you go it's looking beautiful and of course you need something to hold this so you know maybe you're going to use a popsicle stick or something sitting on top although I did fill it a little bit um, high which is a bit silly I mean look we can even just use this little sticker it doesn't really matter does it as I said this is for a test this is nothing else but a test so I'm just going to pull this one aside and we're just going to let this one dry and then we will do some dipping later on and I'm going to bring you back to show you a little bit about that. So let's just leave that. Because I filled it up too high, I'm actually just got a little dipper and I'm just going to take some out. Now you can add fragrance. I have not added fragrance with these ones today. Um, I've just kept them plain because like I said this is for our demo now I do have to use a different thermometer which I would never usually use and the reason I need to use this one is my other one um, it has actually had a bit of a heart attack so my infrared one is no good but I am getting a new one so this is around about 50 55 degrees which is probably perfect for what we want um, although there is a little bit of wax not melted, but you know, it doesn't matter anyway So we're just going to bring this now the whole idea of this if you use a cup like I've got It's pretty perfect because you can just squeeze the top to make a little bit of a hill And then we're just going to pour a tiny bit into the top because we want to see We can move this out the way a tiny bit Now what we want to do is see this solidify just a tiny bit now, if I don't let it solidify, what's actually going to happen is it's just going to go um, and all of these colours will look like a watercolour and kind of melt. Like, you don't want it hard, but, you know, we want it to solidify a tiny bit just so it looks a little bit pretty. Now, try not to pour under the side. Otherwise, you're going to have, if you can see here, I've just got a little bit um, of pink on the side. Otherwise, you're going to have that pinky colour on the side. So let me just take out my popsicle stick. Like I said, once again, just, you know, tip the cup like that and it creates a bit of a spout. And let's just, look, we're just going to see what happens. Um, can you see how it's a little bit pink and then a little bit purple at top? So I think that's pretty cute. But now what I want to do is I think I'm just going to wait a little bit before I put the blue because otherwise the blue will really... Um, mold everything together so we just want it to solidify a little bit but I guess I really wanted to show you how you can do like a bit of an ombre kind of look without all the fussing around just use colors that are lighter or you could do different shades of pink blue purple um, and so on so we're going to leave our other one like I said that's already sitting here that's you know like I said that we've just got the white in 
and we can use all of these colors that I've already got here so we can just use these I will just obviously have to like reheat these up and you can just have them in a double boil so they just keep warm but you can reheat them up there's there's no um, problem with reheating it so don't think you have to throw it out you don't because the dipping part is you want a container like this that's long um, or you know you can put it on your side or whatever but if it's not long enough you won't be able to um, you know dip it further enough down into the candlestick depending on how big the stick is so and for this I'm going to use these sticks that I've already got um, just to hold up my wick in the middle of this one even though it's not really the perfect wick but um, as I said we're doing tester aren't we today I'm going to just cut the end of the wick off if you cut the wick off shorter it's much easier to balance and keep it in the center but there are wick setting tools that you can actually use as well so try and use the ones that you know are going to be workable for you and you know if the wax is not hot enough this is what happens see this bit hasn't melted so I'm going to just have to get my heat gun onto that a little bit um, and these cups are not normal cups they have wax proofing on the inside so that's why I'm able to use these um, these were actually given to me um, for like a pottery so um, that's why they do that but you know look I might have to change cups if I'm going to reheat these because often you can't put these in a microwave or anything like that so anyway I'm going to heat this little bit and then we're going to pour it in there now it is starting to look beautiful it, I'm going to let this solidify just a tiny bit more um, because look I'll show you let's just pour a weeny bit in and can you see how already the blue is going to sort of drop um, a bit further? So if that makes sense, you can kind of see it dropping a bit. And that's because it is not solidified enough yet. But And obviously the blue and the purple are much more bolder. So then it's, it's not going to look like, you know, the way we want it to look for now. But it doesn't matter, does it? Like I said, this is a bit of a tester and we'll see but I hope this gives you a bit of insight because when I first started um, looking into a lot of these things you sort of think wow there's so much to learn I mean as I did say as a child my teacher her name was Mrs Evelyn I always remember her um well actually her name was Miss Evelyn Cullens was her surname was her name um and um yes i remember her very very well she was my favorite favorite teacher at primary school i really loved her so um she was just such a sweet teacher i know she didn't have children so she i think gave all the love to the, her students which was really really sweet of her um but anyway so this is it for this one here and do you know you can get taller ones or shorter ones i actually think this is a really perfect measurements probably about i'm going to say 13 centimeters long something like that um and i actually think this is probably the perfect candle because these are very popular at the moment if you had lots of these you know you had lots of the same candle you could probably just make a whole heap together um i think that would be a really good idea if you had something like this um but of course i don't this is what i have um so we're just going to let this go and then I'm you know I'm going to show you how to get it out now if you use pure soy you're going to struggle to get this out of here that's the difference with using soy I know this kit came with soy but I really don't think it was you know the right choice that's why I've used A05 it does have a tiny shrinkage in it not much but you need that tiny bit to be able to tap it out of the mold Otherwise, you have to use paraffins and some paraffins have terrible frosting. So you really have to test paraffins just like you would have to test um, different soy or coconut soy waxes because all of them are really, really different. Um, you know, look, I will say what I say all the time. Don't put micas in them. It will clog up the wick. It's not going to burn. And look, a lot of people may never burn this. They it might just be decoration. So a lot of these, you actually don't need to have fragrance in them. Um, a lot of the ones that I see like this have no fragrance at all, which is probably good for you because that way it's a really good cost saving for you as well. And once you start fragrancing it, then that is a whole new ball game of testing wicks as well, isn't it? But, you know, as I said, it's just a nice, fun project. 
uh, to do as well. You know, maybe you could get your kids to choose the colors and, um, you know, you can create something really fun and really pretty together. So I do love that. And I am actually going to burn this and see how it goes. But honestly, if you're going to do these kind of ones, I really do suggest just the string unless they're wider. Some of the wider um, sticks will probably need um, a different sort of string or, you know, you will really need to test that a lot. So um, I will go back onto Pure Candles website just to see how they're going. But I'm going to leave this for several hours. My husband and I are going to watch television. He loves the uh, show Survivor um, that's in the US. So it's on our TV at the moment. So Thursday nights is when we watch it. So I'm going to go off and watch Survivor. I'll come back and check in an hour or so and see how these are going. And um, then we'll get on to the next bit, like I said, and that is going to be dipping the second one. And at the moment, I will show you. Let's move it back into camera. So this is what it looks like. You see the wick in the middle in there. So, and you know, this is not the right tool for this. You know, you obviously would want that a bit different. You could bend it over so that it's, you know, like nice and taut and straight. Um, but like I said, this is just a tester, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this video. That is a little bit different. Um, and at the end, I will give you a few wick options and let you know where you can actually get some. In the description, I will also put some places down where you can actually get um, some wicks and some materials if you want to make, para um, sorry, not paraffin, if you want to make um, some of these beautiful type candles. And like I said, they are all the rage at the moment, all these colorful ones. Things come in and out, don't they? Um, I've been asked a few times to make them. I just haven't. If I make them in colours, to be honest, they're probably going to be boxed more than unboxed because I just think that would be much, much more pretty. And um, once we get all of our boxes up and going, hopefully that is going to be the next thing that I'll do. Anyway, like I said, I will bring you back after Survivor. Hello everyone, we are back. Now, I just wanted to show you something. So this one is pretty much done and all you do is you're just gonna give it a tap like this to come out. But I wanted to show you the end. If you can see how um, it's got a bit of a hole in it. So what you wanna do is get your heat gun. We're just going to heat gun this and then I'm just gonna put a tiny weeny bit of wax at the top. So I'm gonna leave this one aside so that we can fix this one. But here is this one. Look how beautiful it looks. Can you see how nice that looks inside? So all we're gonna do um, now is I'm just literally going to take off this top bit here. I'm just gonna grab the scissors and snip that off. Now it is just a string, so we'll just snip that off. Now, if you can see the top, it's not looking too beautiful, is it? So you can get the heat gun if you want and just neaten that off. So we may do that. Now, also at this bit here, remember we had the little blue tack, so which even though it's white tack, we're just gonna take that off. And now you can see clearly that's where it is. Now, what I usually do is I don't take the string out because when you pull it, pull it all through, you can easily fix that. And I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. So all you want to do basically is you're just going to like tap it, you know, um, and that's the thing. It's not going to, it's not meant to just slide right out. So you give it a few taps on the bench. Now, can you see already how that's just slid straight out? Um, so can you see how easy that was to slide out when I gave it a tap? So I'm going to push it back in just a little bit because I want to just get the heat gun and just neaten this off first. Now, not that it's much neater, but I'm going to just take that off. Now, you can literally just plane that off. So, you know, you could um, put that or you could add a little bit extra in it. And when I say plane it, I mean, you know, obviously a little razor or something at the end. Um, so that's literally what you can do. But remember, we already gave it a bit of a tap. As I said, just tap the bottom. And um, we've seen before it already came out. Um, and because I've heat gunned it, it's actually probably stuck to it a little bit more. Um, but you can see it slides out. So once it slides out, that's it. And let's slide this out. And I'm just going to snip the top off. Um, obviously, I'll fix it later. But doesn't this look beautiful? Do you love it? I mean, it's just so cute, isn't it? And like I said, this was the Kmart mold. So it's worked out pretty good. So this is just a standard pencil one, um, which is looking super, super beautiful. I really do love it. Uh, so I hope you love that one. Um, and then basically, let me just 
but so this is what it's going to look like and obviously like i said we we want to just fix the ends but sometimes you know you'll get these and the ends aren't going to be perfect anyway but if i left it in the mold you could heat that the gun down a bit and then just fill it up so that's what you can do for that um but for now like i said i wanted to show you how beautiful it is so i'll need to fix that and you know look some they're not going to be perfect because if you think about this this is going to go into candle molds it's not going to just stand on the bench like that anyway so anyway that one is done i hope you love it um i think it looks beautiful and that whole water um kind of effect looks lovely doesn't it so like i said i have used a05 with this so you can use it you don't have to use a paraffin everybody now, the same thing with this one here, even though we're going to fill up the end and fix this in a minute, I've just put on my um, machine again so we can melt down some things and keep the little bit of blue tack. We can use that for the next one. So like I said, here we are. We are literally going to take this out. Now, what we want to do with this is we want to do what is dipping. So we literally want to make sure our candle is done. And then, of course, we need to warm up all of these. We can put them in a warmer and you can just slowly dip into each one. Um, now, the thing is, you have to make sure that this is not too hot. If this is too hot, it's going to melt this candle. And we don't want to do that. But also, if it's not hot enough... What actually happens is everything is just going to stick and, um, you know, and sort of clump on this. And we also don't want that. So there's lots of things you can do. You can even splash bits on the top if you want a funny splash kind of effect. Um, so many things that you can do. So don't feel that you can't. You definitely can. And, you know, something like this is like how we talked about this before. This is a really good seller. So, you know, you could do lots of these. They're really easy to sell, um, especially if you get boxes made. Maybe you can have three or four in a box. Um, look, putting two in a box, I don't think it's worth it, but they're very, very cool and very on trend at the moment. And those beautiful colours of greens and pinks and so on just look lovely in it anyway, don't they? Um, and like I said, you know, you can use the string. The string's really easy to use as well. As I said, this week is not the right week, so we won't be selling this one. This is just going to be for me um, once I've actually done this one. So like I said, I was going to heat gun the end, but I don't think we will. Let's just take it out. Um, so like I said, we're going to give it a bit of a tap and you'll be able to see um, I don't know whether you can see on camera, but here you can see it's still stuck a little bit, but here I can see that it's not, it's moved away. So like I said, just give it a little bit of a tap on the bench um, and slowly you'll be able to see when it is ready to come out. And I'm just going to straighten that bit up because remember we had fixed that before. So you just want to like tap it on your hand or tap it on the bench. You've seen the other one was much easier to come out because it is smooth, remember? And um, this one is not. So I'm just giving it a tap first. So now all we're going to do is, you know, I've just like pulled it tight on here. Now, if you can see, let's just take it out of the mold. Doesn't it look beautiful? Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so you can see that beautiful ribbed effect. As I said, I did get this one from Pure Candle Supplies. So you've seen how I've tapped it on the bench. And don't tap it hard because you don't want to break this. But, you know, you really do need to tap it to get it out. So this is looking beautiful. All we're going to do is, you know, you would just snip off the ends here. Um, and like I said, you know, you would want this to be flat. So um, if you were actually making this, you know, cut everything off and obviously you want to heat gun it and just make sure the top's perfect. Um, but it's looking beautiful. Now, try not to cut this off too much because we want to hold this so we can dip it straight um, into the product just like so. So that, that's the whole idea. Um, and, you know, the thing is too, using a coconut or a coconut soy it's not going to dry like a paraffin would really fast. So it's just going to be a little tricky. So on the bench, maybe you want to put a little bit of plastic or some bake wrap or something like that, just so that once we do the candle, it's going to sit straight. And we want to make sure that it's standing up straight. This one's pretty straight, so we've got no problems with that one. So let me just heat up our colours and then I will bring you back. Okay, everyone, we are back. So inside here, I have some pink. I have some 
um, green and then of course purple. So literally the only thing we want to do is literally dip these, um, you know, candles into this. It's as simple as that really. Um, it, it's nothing scientific about it, my friends. So all we're going to do is literally hold this and you can hold this on an angle if you want, if you want to do a bit of a angle sort of cool um, thing, just dip it around however you want the candle and then literally we're just going to pull it out just hold it a little bit in the air to give it time um, because you know basically the idea is you want everything to solidify on it and if you don't like um, I just sort of tap it on the bottom just to get the residue off because you don't want a whole heap stuck on the bottom so basically that's what that's going to look like now when this bit here dries which it's still a little sticky it will take a bit then we are going to dip it into the next color so um, even if I want to dip it in this, you can dip it in the same one if you want the colour to be thicker. So if you can see their difference in the colour here. So now this is the blue. Now I haven't made it super strong, but you can dip it in as much as you want to get as many colours into this as you want. So there we go. And you can already see there's a couple. And then, of course, in a minute, I'll hold it up the opposite way. And then we can dip it in as well. You know, you can also um, hold it over a cup and literally pour this on the top. But I don't want to do that because then I kind of feel like it's not as pretty. And doesn't it look lovely? Um, so you can see it's not dry yet. So while that is doing that, I'm actually, I still have this string in here. Now, this is what I was saying about not pulling the string back out. Can you see how I haven't pulled it back out? And then pretty much we're just going to pull the string to the bottom of this piece here, put a little blue tack, and then we can make another one. So that's why I said about sort of not getting rid of the string. Um, and then, of course, like I said, I'm just going to once again put my little blue tack over the bottom of this one and because I have some wax we're literally going to pour it in so then we can have another lovely candle getting all ready to do the next one so literally that's what we're going to do which I do love that whole idea so we'll pour in some of this pinky kind of one here and um, we might as well use this wax up while I've got it um, with these gorgeous lovely ones and um, like I said then we can sort of fix everything in a minute uh, the hardest thing is getting it centered. It, that's my opinion anyway. That That's what I found the hardest is getting everything centered. Um, but I'm just going to pour some purple into this one um, because, you know, I'm not that fussy about the color. But, you know, it will give a kind of a beautiful gradient. You could, like I said, do the same thing with this. Just make them all white and then dip them if that's what you want to do. Um, and now, like, because, like I said, we're not using paraffin. So it is soy. So it's a little bit... But you can hold that. You, you'll be fine to hold that. So because we haven't got the purple on the top, once again, we're going to just dip the top. So you can dip the wick. Don't worry about the wick. It can definitely um, be dipped in. And there you go. And that's going to look beautiful. And um, purple, like I said, just make sure you shake it off because you don't want to have massive big drips down. It doesn't look very nice. And there we go. That is it. Doesn't it look so pretty? And as I said, if you want it more bright, then of course, um, you know, do that. Another thing you could do is leave the string on the bottom, which I didn't. And that way I could have held the string um, and just made it look a little bit more beautiful. But I still think it looks really, really lovely. We'll dip it in the purple again just to get a bit of a stronger beautiful purple but as I said this is just for me at home and because I'm using soy uh, as I said you know coconut soy it's not going to give those vibrant colors um, that you are going to get um, you know if you're using paraffins so it's just a choice and whatever you like but if you have a company that is all soy then of course um, feel free to do it the way that you want to do um, this and like I said we're making my second one which is sitting here and now I haven't waited to the colors are solidified can you see how dark they look now um, but we will see how that's going to turn out it's definitely not going to be like that remember the colors are never as dark as we actually see them they're going to lighten up a, a lot 
and make sure you try and keep this to 60 degrees or lower when you're dipping so that you're not going to um, ruin everything as well. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed our two um, options. Like I said, so we've got our like our dyed sort of color here or our dipping option here. Personally, I think this is the easy option if you want to do something like that, but it is much more harder to control the way it looks and you may never get two that are very, very similar, but it's definitely a good way to go and um, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? So like I said, these ones are done. These ones are just for me. These ones won't be sold. Maybe in the future I may do some like this. I don't know. Um, but um, I think maybe even this one, I do love this, this particular um, shape. I do think the ribbed shape just looks really, really lovely and it's quite pretty. I have actually seen people as well, which I'll do this one because it's just for me. Um, I was going to go, but now let me just show you something. I've seen this being done where people literally, um, if I can get enough wax on this, and they literally just do sort of a droplets around it as well. You can do like little dots um, around it to give it a, a little bit of a fun kind of flare. So if you want this whole thing to have tiny little weenie dots, um, you can do something like this as well, which looks really cute, doesn't it? So let me just do a few dots so that you can see what I mean. And literally, this is what we're going to do. So you can even just make it white and literally dip it in and just put a dot on each thing. It will dry on it and it will make it look super fun. So there is another option um, as well. I've seen a few like that. You could do like some drizzling over the top. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Anyway, I hope you love it, like I said, and I'm going to see my friends on the next video. Bye, friends.